Hey there, this is Dave Fortino, Chief Strategy Officer over here at Netline. Uh, thanks for expressing some interest in learning a little bit more about the lead management platform. You can think of the platform as a centralized interface to effectively launch content-centric lead gen campaigns, both to your own audience and simultaneously giving you the ability to launch on-demand scale, thereby tapping into Netline's audience. Um, what I'll do today is kind of walk through the platform in a product tour type environment and then We'll look at some value props and key pillars for it as well. So I'm going to minimize my face so you don't have to be staring at that the entire time. And what you'll see here by default is we're talking about how the ability of leveraging Netline's predictive forms effectively allows your existing content to translate into better conversions. And how that's done is through the capabilities of a predictive lookup and a unified single sign-on login. What I mean by that is that Netline's processed a little over 52 million leads uh, in our existence across the platform. When a user is typing in their email address on your own corporate website, that by using Netline's form is doing a real-time lookup and saying, did this user ever register for content anywhere? Not just on your website, but literally anywhere else through Netline's gated technology. If so, pre-fill that form so that the user gets instantaneous access to that content, thereby dramatically lessening typing, increasing conversions, and obviously uh, decreasing form abandonment rates. And so if that user didn't ever register for content through a netline form, uh, we still will go through an added benefit of actually looking up against the domain. At that point, if we're recognizing the company name, we'll dynamically predict and enrich and also remove the fields from the form that are specific to the company, like the industry, the sub-industry, the company name, the company size by both employees and revenues, their physical mailing address and so on. So again, key goal here is get users immediate access to content as efficiently as possible. On the flip side, the key deliverable to the marketer is to ensure that you're only receiving the richest of rich database uh, profiles on these specific organizations and these users. When we're talking about an all-in-one solution, we mean that, right? It's about having one tool to effectively manage your content-centric lead gen initiatives on an inbound and an outbound basis. You can use either on-demand based upon your own needs, but it's always there. One tool, one technology, uh, the ability to toggle back and forth super simply. The predictive form technology is what we just talked about. It's important to also recognize that you're not going to need your developers at all. And so there's zero code required, even when it comes down to white labeling the interface. When we talk about plans, there's really three tiers to think of um, the platform as if you're using it on your own corporate website. If you're just using us for amplification and reaching beyond your site, that's a completely performance-based element, and that's structured on a cost per lead model. You'll see that inside the interface. But if you're going to be deploying it holistically across your own sites and also reaching into our audience that comes on a SaaS basis, you're looking here, there's three basic tiers, free, pretty self-explanatory. Standard gives you a little bit more features and also unlocks greater volume thresholds. And pro is really what unlocks everything. The core uh, observation here is to know that every single one of these platform uh, tiers specifically offers the, the core goodness of those predictive forms. So, you know, if you want to start off free and do some testing, that's totally fine. If you want to jump into the deep end at Pro, great as well. You're not really inhibiting anything around the, the core, um, you know, content conversion observations there and, and technologies. You're really limiting your own volume thresholds and also a lot of the customization capabilities around look and feel and specifically also around the domain use, you know, running that through your own corporate domain versus ours. If you want to look at the feature comparison in greater detail, you can do so here. And as I said, you know, the essentials is really applied to everyone. And that's all about that, the pre-fill capabilities, lead enrichment, auto confirmation emails, no code, real-time integrations to every downstream system that you can think of. So whether you need to get data into a marketing automation system or over into ON24, if you're using them as your webinar platform, all easily supported through a self-service interface. Here are those volume thresholds I spoke about. This is that on-demand scale idea, right? So you've got content, you already are promoting it using Netline's forms to your own website. 
yet behind the scenes you realize you need more leads and you discreetly only need certain types of users who are specifically meet, meeting really, really uh, niche filters. You can control all of that in the same interface. Uh, launch a campaign in minutes simply by adding a budget. Super simple and straightforward. The customization I spoke about around the look and feel and your capabilities and or limitations there. Integrations. These are just some of the more popular ones. So there are others once you're in the product. Uh, obviously Zapier is super popular for even reaching well beyond those that we already have pre-built and even some you know kooky concoctions that you can come up with on your own. Beyond that, as you can imagine, security and compliance around data structure, data capture, data storage, and data fulfillment, super important to us, to our clients, to your users even. So uh, every tier has the same capabilities there. There are some subtle differences around admin rights, around externally sharing reports. And lastly, support. As you can imagine, the free and standard carry somewhat minimal uh, support via chat, email, and you get access to our uh, status dashboard. Beyond that, Pro gives you a lot more, right? So you're introduced to, there's human contacts behind the scenes that you can have access to. On top of that, you're also privy to on-demand onboarding and training if you'd like that, and even a content strategy session if you're stumped and or just looking for other ideas about how to get the most out of your own audience, your own content, and obviously using Netline's forms in capturing those, those users and converting them into leads. So we'll scroll back up and then jump backwards. Once you've built that campaign, and again, you're effectively promoting it to your own audience, if and when you ever have the need to reach beyond your own audience, here's some key uh, metrics to observe. You know, we're typically processing a little in excess of 700,000 gated asset leads per month. So those are users actively registering for B2B content covering every topic, industry, um, job function, job area, geographic location that you can think of. In terms of reviews, I'll just leave this up here for a second, but you're more than free to go check them out on your own. And hopefully, maybe one day you'll become one of these. And lastly, yeah, again, you know, it's all about doing less to generate more. All right, so effectively making your life easier as a marketer and making your audience more efficient uh, and getting them what they really want in a more efficient manner. So I'm going to jump up to the top. We're going to log in real quick. And I'm just going to jump into my demo account. And what you'll see by default, there's going to be two CTAs. One is a direct campaign, one is a lead flow campaign. The direct is really all about you building a campaign that gets promoted directly back to your own website, to your own audience. That is how you would actually create a gated content asset uh, campaign for that specific use case. So if I want to call this direct demo today, we can create this. And what you'll see is just a linear progression. It's along the left-hand side in numerical format, and you'll just follow along the steps. And so let me move myself over here. And you'll just follow these steps. And in a few minutes, you'll have a campaign live that you can actively promote to your own audience. And most importantly, control the filters uh, based upon who is accepted as a qualified lead. So like most marketers, you're probably getting a lot of junk coming through your corporate website that your marketing automation system certainly isn't really equipped to handle. And on top of that, your sales team most certainly doesn't want. And so you can control that here. And so by just simply deploying filters, you're able to say what types of users from a geographic region, from a job area, uh, sub job areas, from a job level industry, sub industries as well in there, um, company size by employee count and or revenues, even specific accounts. What data do you want to receive to be deemed as a good lead? Once that's controlled and set up here, you carry on your way. But let's say you've built that campaign, right? You're promoting it to your own audience. You're starting to see the leads come in, at which point they'll be fed into here and also real time into those downstream systems of your choice. But beyond that, if you ever do get to that position where you need to reach beyond your own audience footprint and tap into additional scale, you can do so. So you would just find that campaign, scroll over to the action column, hit convert, and then effectively what you would do is I'm going to call this Dave demo today. And by hitting create, what it's done is it's copied every single thing that we just did for that campaign 
So it copied the content, the filters, the connector into HubSpot or On24, your reporting uh, schedule, and so on. From there, all you need to do is add budget in the lead terms table, and you are on your way. And so again, this is all about ease of use and making your life as painless as possible. So when it comes back to campaign execution, you really ask yourself, are you in a position where you're managing a ton of different solutions? Uh, if so, this is a great opportunity to consolidate across multiple technologies into one. And effectively, the, the on-demand scale side or this lead flow side is what is only carrying on a performance basis. So you don't need to use that if you don't need to reach beyond your audience. But uh, by all means, if you've got content and you're either unhappy with how it's converting and or simply need to convert more efficiently from your existing audiences, uh, the, the direct side of the platform is hugely compelling. And it comes back to that very basic idea, which is that users, if they've ever historically registered for content across the platform, we're doing that lookup and effectively created the only B2B single sign-on registration experience on the web. And so why ask your users to fill out a form again and or create a new account again on your site when they've also done that on their competitor site and so on and so on and so on when there are other ways of making their lives easier and by default making their lives easier you're also yielding more leads from your existing content so i hope this was helpful uh, i know i threw a ton into this in a few minutes if you have any questions please feel free to reach out and if not we hope to see you on the platform sometime soon thank you Bye bye